All right, what's up, yens, guys? Time for another video. We're going to talk about something kind of techy this time, and plus to have a few laughs. So I told this story to some other friends, you know, in long, drawn-out, written blogs, you know, friends of mine just talking. So I'm going to do a video about this. And this is also to feature, too, you know, for talk some tech with uh, friends, have a few laughs, and... At the same time, have a few laughs with maybe my haters and lurkers show you what I can, that I can get things now that, uh, that my haters and lurkers can't afford. And in the meantime, they're living in a room in their parents' house and, uh, wondering from day to day where the, their next bag of weed is coming from. And meanwhile, I just, you know, uh, whip out game cards and buy and stuff like this. I just love this. I'm going to have a few laughs and show you this too at the same time because everybody watching this may have been there. You get yourself something. You start out with you want to get something just because of what you want to accomplish. And I'm saying this compared to when I built a computer many years ago. And shit, that time goes fast. And anyway, whether it's stereo equipment or computer equipment, you want to get something like a video card and especially online now these days you know i unlike you know getting at best buy and or whatever stores that were around circuit city back in my day or whatever oh but now online it's even you can get pulled in way more this way i mean even comedians on tv both black and white talked about this all right you shop it online or maybe back in the days in the store and then you figure okay you're going to get this to achieve what you want and then you're like for a few dollars more you, all right, you can almost uh, bring Clint Eastwood into it. Like, say, if Clint Eastwood was going to go, go uh, get buy something techy like a video card or a stereo or something. Walk in with a fistful of dollars or an online thing with a fistful of dollars. And then you're looking, okay, you want something to just do this or that. And then walk in with a fistful of dollars and then, oh, wow, for a few dollars more, I can get this. And for a few dollars more... And then you're kind of settling on something, almost settling on something. And then you're uh, looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I mean? The pros and cons to getting this or that. So in my case, I have this computer that I like already. I like the tower I'm in, and I don't want I like the tower that I have, and I don't want to really go get another, uh, you know, tower. But then, when any video card you get, and I forgot this time, I built computers before, and it's just like I got caught up in this video card and I forgot. Duh, I'm waiting for a new uh, upgraded power source to come, because you damn near, you pretty much always got to buy a new power supply that has an extra plug in, and you have to have a minimum wattage that the computer you currently have doesn't got. But in the past, I have had a bigger empty tower that my brother I got off of my brother one time you know and then I literally bought a whole motherboard and video card back then and now you got the video cards and the motherboards they're capable compared to a few years ago to handle more RAM than they do now and the video cards too but anyway check out this beauty and I was all excited, ready to put it in, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck! Building computers in the past, I should have fucking known, but anyway, it's not that, uh, not so much it's just a, an overlooked, retarded moment. You get so caught up in one thing, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, god damn it, I should have known, because when I built computers, literally a whole motherboard and a tower in the past, you automatically, you buy one that is you damn near pretty much always got to get an upgraded power source with a minimum wattage and the reason being also see the little thing you could have a pluggy thing that has one of these in it and if you think you can use the power source you currently have say you're upgrading the cur current computer you have you know without just getting a tower home and you think you can get a pluggy thing adapter plug into your power source to, for this if it ain't the minimum, the minimum wattage required, not gonna happen. That damn thing will turn itself off or whatever they have. 
But anyway, I'm like, I look at the cords of my power source and I'm like, I feel like an idiot at first. Well, I'm not that stupid. It's just like, well, you know, you're all excited. Like, because what I already said before, I'm, but the beginning of the story really was, okay, did I just should have told you in the beginning of this video. I kind of, uh, you know how flat screen monitors, they don't last forever. The backlight goes out on them. The color starts getting funny. And then eventually when you reboot, you boot the computer, you try to reboot the monitor. You're like, what the hell? The monitor got turning weird colors and turning itself off. You hit the power button, it tries to turn on again. You know, the backlight dying, it goes kind of funny colors. Time to replace that monitor. I mean, I had that happen uh, years ago, too. Like a monitor, a flat screen monitor I bought brand new. It don't fucker only lasted a year. It should have lasted longer than that. You know, bought online. But anyway, yeah. Don't want to tell a whole story about that. But anyway, the reason I wanted to... I was saying this, too, to get a video card. Is instead of buying a new monitor, I says, well... Uh, before I plan to buy a video card, I figure, you know, like, years ago, I had a 32-inch Sony TV, and there's usually a plug in the back for a two-ended VGA cord. Instead of having a monitor on your computer, you can, your TV could be the monitor. I had that. Played my games in it. But then, me and the partner, really, we bought this brand new TV, like, about a year ago. It doesn't have one of those. And, you know, we overlooked that. I never thought I'd be doing that, but I thought... Quite recently, I bought this video card. So the reason why I bought the video card, yeah, we got HDMI's in the back of this new TV. You don't have that VGA thingy. I got a two-ended VGA cord, you know, back of the monitor. That back, that would go back of the computer, but the other end would go in the back of a monitor. But if you had TVs, that go. This TV doesn't have that. We bought it brand new. We didn't realize that. So I realized I could go do it with HDMI. But, you know, my computer didn't have the HDMI when the TV does right. So, hey, your new video cards have HDMI in it. You know, I run to the TV with HDMI. And while I'm at it, I can play my games better. So, uh, anyway, you know, which led to the story I just told you. By the video card, I got to realize I had to use the video card. I had a goddamn... Uh, I was like, God damn it. I should have knew in the first place when I ordered the video card, went ahead and bought a new power supply. It got so caught up in looking at these, drooling over them, and I forgot. Yeah. Still, that I may, I'm capable of building computers like I did in the past. I, I you, It's still, you're able to get caught up in a thing and then totally forget that. But, and then the other thing I quarter run into, which I got to deal with too, I like my tower that I have. I don't want to upgrade and get a slightly bigger tower, but even with a smaller video card like this, let's say if it's this much smaller, this tower, the way they put the goddamn, um, it wasn't a problem before, but the way where they put the goddamn hard drive bay, you wouldn't believe it, like the where they used to put them. They got it kind of like down here, right, where, okay, say I had the video card in here. The hard drive thing is down here, and, you know, this much, this thing is this much longer. Even if I had a way cheaper video card, which maybe is so much smaller, it still wouldn't fucking fit. But it wouldn't, it would have fit the way they used to put the hard drive bays. So, rather than buy a tower, I got to un, undo the hard drive bay, and I kind of just gotta rig it up and maybe put it up higher over here I ain't gonna bore you with the details I'd have to show you inside but you're probably speculating on maybe some of you guys probably had to do that before anyway if, until maybe someday you broke down and maybe bought say if you don't want to buy a whole new tower you know don't want to go through all that extra expense either you know you just can hook the hard drive bay there's ways to do it but anyway where they used to put the hard drive bays, kind of, was like here, and it kind of sticks out a little bit in front of the tower. They got it fucking over here and like kind of like down here. And there's a couple PCI Express slots, right? No matter which way I put it. The fucking 
hard drive bay is right the fuck here, right? And on top of that, it doesn't come out with just a screwdriver. They kind of got it riveted in, but there's a way you kind of got to knock out those rivets, you know. Uh, you can pop them out real easily, you know, with the right tools without rattling your motherboard that's inside. I got to do that, that's all. You know, you don't use a screwdriver to take this bay out. The kind of where I have that hard drive bay, the stupid-ass place where they put it. When, you know, and it, it wasn't an issue when I bought the computer because I didn't plan on doing what I do now, but... Yeah, instead of, you know, you're able to just take the hard drive bay off with a screwdriver, you kind of got to knock out a couple, like, rivets. They rivet the god, riveted the goddamn thing in. So I'm looking at that, but I'm still looking forward to it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I started out with, uh, yeah, as if I were Clint Eastwood here, you know, start with a fistful of dollars, and then you're looking at all these different things you didn't plan on. Oh, for a few dollars more. I can do this, and then all you're looked in, it turns into, okay, you're comparing video cards like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Get it? The three movies, the trilogy, Fistful of Dollars, for a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. You'd have to be about my age or whatever, or watch any kind of old classic movies to get the thing, you know. Uh, but get what I'm saying, but yeah. Still looking forward to this anyway, you know what I mean, too, uh, but, hell, yeah, that's life, part of the adventure, you're not pissed off about it, but yet at the same time, you know, like I said, you're like, uh, God damn it, you know, you're looking forward to all doing the thing, can't say that enough, even though you know what you're doing and you've even put a whole, put together a whole computers for people in the past, when you're doing something of your own, you can you can be somebody better at that shit than me. And then, oh, you're getting caught up, focused on one thing. Oh my God, I gotta have this for a few dollars more. And then you have a retarded moment. You're so caught up in the thing, and fuck, I gotta buy a new power supply. Well, that reason, believe that reason being though, unlike when you were building the whole computers, you know, getting the whole tower and all, you're just upgrading the computer that you bought tower and all like you know what I mean and you don't think you would run into that or you just forget things and that's how that is kind of a slightly different ball game than when you're building somebody uh, a whole new computer I mean and selecting the size of the tower which is very nice to do um, which I had one years ago things break down and shit happens you know built one for myself and all that stuff anyway i'm just yammering on anyway i think cut this video sh uh short uh that's it that's it for this video anyway <laughs>